Instagram, and we are live on Facebook. Aloha Facebook. Aloha to everyone on the Book of Faces. And we are live on Instagram. Hello Instagram. Welcome. Welcome you guys. Another, another Wednesday and the MPA saga of First of all, thank you again to you guys out there for all your support and love, and, and we miss you, and hope, hopefully soon we're understanding that maybe within a few weeks we'll be able to do some kind of a pour again here, which we're hoping to, to do. What do you have to say for yourself, Junior? I hope the state of California makes uh, certain water-related activities possible in the coming weeks and months. Today we're gonna we're gonna do and three reds and and a couple of really interesting reds which I think everybody will find interesting. Um, before we get started, so that you remember, we're keeping our forty percent discount on cases alive with free shipping on the case and twenty five percent on individual bottles. That's still in place. Um, take advantage of this while you can. I, when we start pouring again, we're going to probably stop all the um, What do you want to start with? Let's start with a little Sauvignon Blanc. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, though, before we start pouring, um, Meredith, she does say, great haircut, John. Oh, thank you. So, I yeah. told him it's a gothic haircut, <laughs> and he doesn't understand what a gothic haircut looks like. Uh, but if he watched some of these old uh, medieval movies and stuff, he'd understand uh, that. Uh, So we will call her Gothic, Gothic Kathy. <laughs> so this, you guys, is our 2018. I haven't been in a while. 2018 Savion. Some coffee bottle from the big island. Anyway, this one is from um, Hope Valley, George Shanks Grower. He's been our main source of Savlon grapes since 2007. Um, they don't grow any better than this one. Are you pouring yourself some more already? Yeah. We're just getting started with this. Okay. Yeah, I need to make sure there's enough to taste. That's a hell of a pour. I know. I should give you an apple pour. There's enough to taste. No, I should give you an apple pour. That's not enough to taste. No, it is <laughs> not enough to wet your whistle. Do we have anybody on that's saying hello? Yes. Um, we have uh, Christoph saying hello, Marin, John, and Kathy. Hi, Christoph. And uh, let's see here. Kath Catherine uh, Kalena saying hello. Hi, Catherine. Hi there. And Rhonda Trout saying hello, Marin, John, and Kathy. Aloha. Welcome. Cheers. So this Sap Blanc is our 18. Um, the one we had before on there, we, we did the 17, which is Wipeout. This one's called Insatiable. That we're, Wipeout was really tropical and, and pineapple-y and with a little apricot. This is crispy green apple. It's crispy. It's, it's great. You know, we're coming into summer. This is your porch wine on a 100-degree day in anywhere through the Midwest and down south in California. Um, that you want to quench your thirst, have a great wine, ice cold. This is it. Tell me about this wine. It's got a, a slight, refreshingly dry finish. It's got lovely notes of citrus, pear, and green apple. And uh, I could drink an entire bottle of this without much issue. I think you could drink <laughs> a bottle of anything that I pour you. And, and it seems to me like you do. Well, look, we were, Kathy and I were watching a program on Croatia the other day, and they were interviewing a family that had been making wine for 500 years. And the guy was pretty old. I, well, the guy, <laughs> the guy, the guy said that his grandfather used to drink five liters of wine every day. Well, I think you probably yeah. were right there. I, I'm aspiring to be like. I, I think I think you're doing really good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think I'm probably a better <laughs> class leader than one every day. Oh, I would. I wish. Anyway, let me taste it. Oh, is that good? That is, mm. good. That is really, really, really good. Really dangerous. Mm. <laughs> you guys, it's 15 and a half percent alcohol. Um, I have planted myself on these before, drinking a couple bottles with a friend or something, and you don't realize it. It does sneak up on you, but it's such a wonderful sneak up. I mean, it's it's worth the it's worth the sneak. Drink this yeah. and you aren't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, except yeah. to your room to bed. There you go. Yeah. I look like the green apple profile to it along with it just having that like nice crisp sort of it's so bright in the, in the yeah front, isn't it? it really is it's, it, it just kind of when you taste it it's got a really crisp refreshing finish i mean on a warm day you're it's using crisp i said that already. I, well, yeah, but, you know. we all agree yeah, it's nice really crisp this is, this is interrated reliability this is this interrelated is right reliability interrated reliability interrated yeah okay that's um, uh, Let's see here. Um, let's see here. So, Jesse, she's saying that the audio keeps breaking up. So, I don't know. That could be from. Yeah, it could be from. Well, I mean, like when we've done that with the door before, but allows the connection to work. True. All right. Mm -hmm. ask, ask right now to see if it's any better. Yeah. It's yeah. helping you, Annie. We opened the door. Maybe that would get the signal in here better. Yes? No? Maybe? No, uh, it's, it, there's a little bit of lag, yeah. so. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so while we're waiting for the answer, I do have to say with this wine, um, it kind of reminds me, so I think a really good pairing is a dish that I had when I was in the South. It was a buffalo chicken crepe topped with a fennel and green apple slaw. That would be good. And yeah. And some parsnips. There were no parsnips with it. This wine would be awful with parsnips, and you're just trying to stir the pot, okay? <laughs> I, you know, if somebody out there is really creative, I would like you to make John a, ma a little mess that had parsnips on it. And it would make me happy so when I do these streams, I make them wear it. Okay, so yeah. Meredith is confirming that the audio and video is better now on both platforms. Okay, great. I yeah. say you guys stand vindicated. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> In case any of you are new that are watching today, we are one family. That's why we're not, we don't have our mask on or and unfortunately, I have to stand really close to this guy, but yeah, but I have for 30 years almost. Yeah. Next month, yeah. June 11th. Uh, Kamehameha, he's 30 years old. That reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, remind me. Anyway. <laughs> also, folks, we are uh, quarantining in a, a uh, room that is not accessible to the public. This is, this is our barrel room. Our, this our, our barrel room. room. Yeah. So, so yeah. we do all our wine storage in here. The people don't, nobody comes in here but staff. So. Yeah. What would I pair this with? This would be a Petrali Soul wine for me, mm. you know, with uh, and I would do a, a green papaya salad with this, mm. like we have on the Big Island, the Big Island. Oh, the Big Island, oh. uh, it, up in Javi, up the north end of the Big Island, there's a, a restaurant called Bamboo, <laughs> and it is, we would drive from Kona just to go have lunch up there, which is like, you know, it's like two and a half hours round trip, but we go up there for the, for the green papaya salad and the fresh ono sandwich that they would serve with it. Ooh. And it's really good. So this would be a perfect wine with that. That sounds delicious. Well, the and remind me, I'm gonna take a bottle up there and we'll do this, okay? All right. So also Meredith, she's saying uh, John is a troublemaker. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have him here. Come on, we do that. Like, tell me something I don't know. And Angie joined us recently. Hey, Angie. And she's saying, wait, where did John get a haircut? <laughs> From a gothic uh, hairstyle. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially with the little white in the front. I like it. That's very lovely. See, to answer your question, my lovely girlfriend, Miss Kathy, uh, is a very trained haircutter. And we live in the uh, same no. household, so she's 
you know, uh, very, uh... My, my training is YouTube, guys, so... <laughs> well, hey, you gotta worry some now, right? Yeah. Also, Christoph saying, I am a parsnip dish for John when you guys are open again to see it and eat it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you to that. Christoph, I'm holding you to that, mother. You better do that. All right. Shall we move on? Yeah. You guys, we're gonna do a Chardonnay. This is our, this is our 2000 and... Year, 15. 15. 15. I think this one is called Naked and Afraid, uh, my favorite program. Uh, and this comes back with a money back guarantee when you drink this wine. If you drink this wine and you get naked and you're afraid, we give you your money back. <laughs> this, is a, this one is from uh, Reagan Vineyards and Corleidos. For yeah, sure. It is. I haven't tasted this in months and months and months. Is it my imagination? Because this is just the first sip, so I could change my mind, but I don't I must taste free apple on this at that time. Uh, no. Boy. It's kind of like. Yeah, it, it's. No, you know what it is? No, what it is. Very first it's, it's, it's a green apple that they have at Marini's candy store next door when they dip it in the caramel. Yeah. Mm. And then when you bite into it. Yeah. I was I was helping you. Uh, I was enlightening you. That's my degree from uh, from cold coffee. Hey, hey, hey. Caramel does green. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Um, the good news on this wine today, kids, it's one fifty nine a case. I more than pay you to take this damn thing home, and it's really good. This is our two thousand fifteen Naked and Afraid. Yeah. It also tastes. There's like a little bit of marshmallow going on it too. It does have marshmallow at the very end. Along with the butterscotch and caramel, you got a little, you got a little marshmallow at the end. It's kind of like oh. drinking a piece of candy. <laughs> I'm liking it. No, we need to partner with the greenies here. This would, this would go really well. Oh, because they were just candy that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> might, We might have a new business. There we go. You know, apple and wine. Yeah, candy yeah. apple and wine. Why not? It's got to be better than what we're doing. Yes. Tell me. It's <laughs> uh, not hard to beat that. No. no. Oh, no. so we have no. a question about Naked and Afraid. Where are the Chardonnay grapes from again? Coralitos. Coralitos is kind of 20 miles southeast of here. It's our southernmost Santa Cruz mountains. This grows at about 400 foot elevation, which is right at the minimal. Maybe because the winery and the vineyard have been in business since the 1930s, so that could be why they could be that minimal, but it works. So good, good, good grapes that come from there. We've had great Chardonnay from there. So what would you pair this with, Missy? Yes. This is this is more of a challenge. I know. I was thinking about it. Um, shoot. You know what I would pair it with? What about what? the cheddar? I'm like butterscotch you know, and marshmallow. And chowder, so no. You understand why we don't allow him to cook? You have a good reason for it, right? Just, yes. See what I put up with, folks. No, no, no. I would use a good mm? with this. Uh, I would use a brown sugar glazed salmon with this. That'd be good. You know? Yeah. And I can't get the papaya salad out of my. my I'm so crazy though. Yeah. Right I don't know if, if I didn't have to fly to the Big Island quarantine for 14 days in my hotel room, I would go there just for the papaya salad. I would. Mm. By the way, in Hawaii now, you fly there, you're quarantined 14 days in your hotel room before you're allowed out. And if you are
are found that you left your room, you go to jail. They arrested somebody in Wahoo the other day. Yeah, yeah Wow. And it's a thousand dollar fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So why do you fly to Hawaii to go sit in your room? I have no idea. Great right? question. It's not, no, it's not a great question. Mm -hmm. A little bit of stupidity. You get the Hawaiian view out your window, brah. Brah. <laughs> <laughs> then you get to imagine what it would be like if I go out. Oh. <laughs> you go crazy. <laughs> 14 days, one, one hotel. They deliver food to you. You're not even allowed on your room. Oh you can't go within the hotel. You go in your own wow. room. Perfect. Oof. Presidential suite for that. Well, you know what? You could do your honeymoon and just stay with your lovely for 14 days. And if it, if it didn't end in divorce, it'd be a good thing. You know, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> a true test is not. 14 days with my love in one room. We never left. <laughs> and then nine months later, you came in. Yeah. Evidently, so. this guy was on, on, in Waikiki and at one of the hotels in Waikiki, probably in Hilton. Mm -hmm. Anyone serve him? Mm -hmm. And he came out of the wire, they arrested him and took him to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Meredith, she recommends maybe some pork with this. Yeah, you could, but you'd have to. You know what? It would. You know what it would be like. Um, have to with a lot of barbecue sauce or something. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it'd have to be sweeter. Uh, sweet yeah, and sour sweet. pork. Exactly. Sweet and sour pork. Maybe yeah. like a Chinese sweet, sweet and sour pork would work with this really well. Um, because of what's in this, you can't have something too offsetting, too no. too harsh to no. go against it. It wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. But a sweet and sour pork would be great. Uh, sweet and sour chicken. I mean, good. you could do like just a simple sugar rubbed pork chop with this. That would work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like a brown sugar pork chop. Mm -hmm. What about what about like a butt like a buttery white pasta? You could Wait, like, like, yeah. you could get away with it. You could go away with it. You could get away with that. I mean, that would work. You know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be as opposed to marinara. Yeah. 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 A white sauce would work better with this, for sure. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just sit on the porch and drink it and be happy? Yeah. That's what I would suggest. <laughs> you know, you chart me well, lovers. You love this He one. says that like I disagree. Yeah. See, I just want to eat this with a big bowl of creme brulee. Like that. Well, back to the creme brulee again. I, yeah, it, mm -hmm, you know, it has the right profile for it. So. Also, Angie, she says, love me some Naked and Afraid. And oh, thank you, Rhonda. She says, Kathy, looks like you did a great job on the haircut. So. Yes. He looks good in Gothic. Oh, my You're goodness. So oh, Angie has a good suggestion. She's saying pork chops and applesauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Applesauce, there you go, kiddo. There you go. I thought of that, but I didn't say anything. Well, if you're going to do that, you can also have turkey and applesauce. No, oh, and Christoph, so he's saying I would do a miso salmon or maybe a poke bowl if it's not too spicy. Uh, the poke would work great, yeah. It, again, you're right. You wouldn't, you, this would inhibit the spice a little bit, but you're right. You might be able to do a shirashi bowl, too. I don't know. Oh, I like a shirashi bowl. And I want to go back to Otoro, which is mm. in, in uh, Scotts Valley. I consider that our best sushi bar in Santa Cruz, but that's my opinion. You don't have to live with that, kids, but I wouldn't go anywhere else. And after spending a total of eight years in Japan, and this kid spent a year in there, but I was in there every quarter, uh, and eating at every sushi house in Osaka, which is one of the best mm -hmm. eating houses, eating cities in the world, for especially for sushi. Um, Otoro is our best one here. All right, we're going to do a little sabroso. Sabroso in Spanish is delicious. And, and so when, when you buy one of these bottles, you guys, I write sabroso on the front so you know what it is. And I write ono on the back, which means the same damn thing. Ono means delicious in Hawaiian. This is our, what year is it? 17? 17. It is. It's our 2017. Where's it from here? It is from, where is it from? Yeah, tell me. Tell me where it's from. I know where it's from. You're not going to let lots see between the two of us. We've got a complete. I told you it was, I knew it was 17. Okay. Where's it from? It's from. It'll come to me. Oh, well. <laughs> it's gone. We have a door. Come on, dude. It's one of those from the 70s. 
the 70 plus year old has to tell the nearly 30 year old all where this stuff comes from. Amazing, isn't it? Oh. You can't remember anything of it anymore. What year was the 20th, 2015? You didn't forget that. No, I didn't. I just didn't get it out quite. Uh, I was confirming what, what we were doing. Cheers. This Cheers. is a Tempranillo, or Tempranillo, if you're from yeah. Kansas. No offense to anybody from Kansas. Um, this one is our, this is, hmm. I haven't tasted this since, uh, whoo, March. Oh, I didn't, did we taste this in March? Possibly. Possibly. Uh, oh, we, it, did it, we did it on one stream, I think. Yeah, we already had it on the live stream. That was one of the first ones, I think. Yeah. Oh, Kristoff, um, he's backing me up. He says, it is an amazing sushi place for Thank you, and I know as much time as you spend in Japan and Taiwan and China and all over the middle, this, uh, Southeast Asia, you know what you're talking about. Well, look, once you have the good stuff, you, you can't stand bad no. or middle No, sushi. you're better off not having sushi if you're not gonna get the best of the best, you know. Well, you go to the airport and you, you get one of those little sushi things to go, oh my God, they're dry and they're tasteless and, they're, and, you go, and you wonder why didn't you just get a ham and cheese sandwich and be done with it. You know, the amazing thing about Japan is like their to-go sushi is legit. Oh, no. You go to 7-Eleven and you get some sushi there, like that's what? better than most sushi that you can get anywhere in California, <laughs> which is sad, but true. All right, tell me about this wine, you guys. This is on you. What are we tasting? What are we doing? It is a little hot, but there's and a lot of cherry. Is hot in your taste. Yeah. Your nose was hot. I think your taste is hot. Yeah. You know, I wish I had a test kit. I'd run some of those things up your nose and see what's going on. There. <laughs> well, there is a lot of cherry on the nose, and don't forget the little bit of chocolate that's already on your tongue. Mm-hmm. There's a little chocolate back there, kid. Oh, for sure. And like some kind of spice. I'm trying to pinpoint what it is. What would you pair with this? It's a little it smells kind of like cinnamon. It's got a yeah. Spice to it. It's not really pepper, but it's spicy. Christoph, did you get? Did you have any tempranillo for me? I don't remember if I sold you any tempranillo. Yeah. So like cinnamon and pepper are pretty close in terms of flavor profiles for wine, and I'm like, I'm kind of tasting like an undertone of cinnamon. You're getting pepper. I'm like. You know what I would eat with this? It's almost like. It's almost like high end but without the you know, but without the intensity to it. It's more muted. If I knew how to mute you, I would do that. It, but it, yeah, it was, it, yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> 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 Give me a wine and send me. You know, you know what I'm hungry for today? I'm hungry for carnitas, and this would be a perfect carnito wine. Mm. You know, with a little Mexican food. Yep, it would pair very well with Mexican food. Spicy, non-spicy, whatever you want to do with this. This is a really full-bodied, robust, inexpensive wine. I want this with a little, like, shaved ham on, you know, on top of some freshly baked sourdough or something. That would work. That would be really good. At 38 bucks less 40%, kids, this is a hell of a buy. It is. Mm. Yeah. There's a lot of spice happening and a lot of fruit. I'm tasting cherries. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of blackberry. It's got a lot of big red fruit at the very end of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did Christoph ever answer my question? Did he ever did he ever get to Uh he said, Nope. Remember I have very few of your non cabs. Smiley face. <laughs> And for that, I'm going to make you pay, <laughs> big guy. That, that is the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kellyanne, she's saying, John, you might have to get index cards for notes. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Kellyanne. No, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, so Meredith, she's saying allspice would be, yeah. you know, that, that describes it. Meredith, you're so damn technical. <laughs> God. When are you coming out to visit us in California? 
a curly? You'll never be for a Yeah. <laughs> There's more travel now opened up around the country. And she, she's in Florida, and we're a lot more open than we are. Oh, so Deborah, we are currently on the 2017 Temper Neo Sabroso. Could you turn it to face the camera? It's like facing away right now. Yeah, there we go. There's more chocolate in there than you're giving it there. credit for. The undertone is all chocolate. Notes. A hint of Gary Yeah, there, there is some chocolate happening. Um, I don't we should go drink this in the square. Oh, why not? Why not? They'd probably throw us in jail for probably. open bottle. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, not social distancing and drinking in public. Yeah, that'd be all right. Yeah. Then mm. we think about if they let us take the bottle to jail with us, we'd be okay. See, what we need is like a really quick disguise to be like a homeless person, and then and then, then it'd be okay. That'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then we you're homeless, then yeah. right? And we, we put a blanket around. If, if you're homeless, they'll bring you in. They'll bring you in the bottle. There you go. You know, if you're homeless, you get free alcohol, <laughs> drugs, needles, anything else you need. Anything you want, we we'll give it to you. Maybe yeah. we should be homeless. Hey. Get to live the dream. So, <laughs> Meredith, she says, I'd love to soon. Good. Yeah. We'd love to see you, kiddo. Now, we miss you, Meredith. We do. And we thank you for all your service and help and creativity and all, darling. You do. Meredith, for you guys to know, she puts out our newsletters and, and, and keeps us in the world of, of to know. Uh, and social media. Social media and to know, especially during this virus and, and all the things that have been going on, you know, something new comes up, Meredith sends us a little blip, beware of this, watch this, this is coming up, and, and thank you for that. Uh, I hope it's working well for you, and I hope you're staying healthy out there in Florida. So. All right, we're going to move on from this guy. Oh, so yeah. Kelly, Kelly Ann, she said that we had the Tempranillo last night with pork tacos, and it was delicious. Yeah, it would be. That would, would be really good. Cool. Thank you for supporting our Tempel Neo. All right, you guys, we're getting into uh, an endangered species. This is our 2012 12 Hollow Mountain. That's from my estate. That's where I started up in Napa. It is called Still Horny, which is also my mantra. And uh, being Croatian, we figured that we're good to 95, and then we could slip a little, but I think 95 is OK. What do you think? It's not OK. We had one of our cousins who was, who had, his family had left Croatia before my father did, and uh, his father's brother, his uncle, left there about 1906, something like seven. Um, he, he migrated to, because of quotas and couldn't get in, and couldn't get into California, <clears throat> he migrated to uh, Argentina, to Buenos Aires, and, uh, and he had a big family, five kids there, of which all five dad brought to America back in the 50s. Um, the two brothers worked for, um, for dad in the construction business, and then his three sisters just settled in. And eventually, um, I think uh, two of them went, went back to South America, and then the three of them stayed here. So, yeah. And he was so, very, a very active gentleman. Oh. He, <laughs> he was still horny. <laughs> I think I probably named this one for one. Um, you well, guys, I don't have a lot of this wine left. I think it's still at 100 bucks. Yeah. It? It's a 2012 Alamount, which probably average Napa price today would be at 200 you guys are getting this at 40% off. That becomes a $60 bottle for a $200 plus dollar bottle. So it is one of my better wines. Um, I haven't tasted this since the last time I opened it, which is a long time ago. Now, I just want to make it clear here that I was advocating for a slightly different name than Still Horny. Because my argument is that Still Horny, the view from the certain to be a little 
disappointing, and now I'm still horny, just like last week. So I was advocating for horny again. Uh, we need to still horny because that is a healthy outlook on life, you know. <laughs> and that's why I need to still horny. I don't care what he says. He's too young to know anybody. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I think still horny personally I think that is a better name than horny again just Thank because you, it's love. like you have it's just stating that excitement to you know go to round two you know you're having a New York a tri-tip a brisket a filet anything in in that red meat field you're going to be really excited about preparing this wine with Really juicy mid palate, got a nice dry finish. This is this is a good wine. I like your juicy. Oh, Kelly, she's saying all of your wines are better wines. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. I think you ought to come here and do a streaming with me, Kel. <laughs> She'd be our cheerleader. You're like, yeah, these are great. <laughs> Which I mean. Why wouldn't you? Now, kids, this is a 2012. Great. When is this wine going to die? I don't think it's going to die for for a long time. This, this, I would say, will still keep its its fruit forwardness and and about most of its tannins for in another 20 years. This this wine's got a lot of tannin left in it. Would you say the accurate to to make your remarks? Worry about yourself before you worry about this wine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're still horny. Oh, Kelly says she's in. <laughs> there you go. This, uh, this one truly, um, I think it, m most everybody that's watching today knows our, our system on our winemaking, but uh, if anybody's new there, our wines are aged minimum, especially our Cabernets, are aged a minimum three years, four years, five years, and sometimes six years in French oak. And what that does is build longevity into the wines. Um, these, these wines have a, I consider a 25, 30 year lay down. If you take care of the wine, this wine will wait for you. If you've got a little grandchild or a child that's two years old and you want to open one, same one and lay it down and, and open it on their 21st birthday, this wine will wait for you. You don't have to worry about it. But all you've got to do is make sure it stays cool and lay down, move it around once in a while, and um, it will wait for you. Our Chardonnays, I consider a good 12-year wine, sometimes a little further. Um, Mike Newman's been drinking some, I think he drove, drank an 11 the other day. Nice. Yeah, and then he drove, drank a 12 from us the other day. Yeah. And, yeah, and he said, the old of the top. Um, Saint Blancs. Our Saint Blancs are made in stainless steel for about six months and then a French aid for the balance, which can be anywhere from four to six months. That increases, that gives you more minerality and longevity in the wine. This wine, again, is 10 years plus. That's unheard of for Saint Blanc. So if you're, if you're worried about your investment in our wines, don't, because if you take care of them, they will last. So, so Kelly is saying, shh, don't tell John that. Tell him it's ready to drink right now. <laughs> John, if you're watching, these are all going to die tomorrow. Kelly said, let's drink. <laughs> that poor woman, you put her through hell. You get all these great wines, you never, never let her open a bottle. John, if, if, if Kelly doesn't get to open the wine, it's all going to go bad. So you, you, know, you better hook her up soon. Yeah. Oh. This is lamb chop, yeah. leg of lamb, <clears throat> lamb rib rack. I'm, I'm kind of thinking of filet, because even though it's really juicy, like on the front, it has kind of a dusty finish to uh -huh. it. You know, filet would be great. Yeah, like you don't want anything with too much fat for this wine, for sure. No, so. no it's not like promiscuous that I just mm -hmm. suck all the fat out of it and make it really wonderful. You know, that's why I did not include ribeye in this. Mm -hmm. You know, I stayed away from the ribeye. The ribeye is more of a... Dirty old, I mean, a, a promiscuous wine. Promiscuous is a better, a better wine for the fatty oak, the fattier meat. So what meat would you pair, uh, pair this with? with it's uh, apart from beef, lamb, and pork. What? <laughs> um, smell. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good one. I would be very cultured. Hey, listen, 
Krista, you're out there. A nice garlicky escargot and butter with this. Some nice French bread dipping. Are we in heaven or what? I guess that's me. Uh, Christoph, he is saying, I still think you need to make a Riesling. They can last 25 years or more. You and your damn Riesling. You've been on my case for 10 years on that damn Riesling. I will see what I can do. I mean, Riesling's You didn't answer my question on the escargot. Well, you just asked, yeah, you know, yeah. there's, there's some light time. You know, I would probably use the Trousseau Brie with the escargot first and, and or maybe the Viognier, but I think this would work also. What do you think? Yeah. Though I do have to, I do see where Kristoff's coming from because finding a really good dry Riesling is hard. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's the way you make it. I, well, a lot yeah, of places yeah, don't actually, make it very well. Do you want me to make one? Sure. Yeah. Dude, I look for dry Rieslings so, like all the Christoph, time. <laughs> if I make a dry Riesling, if I make 350 cases, you're buying 340 of them. <laughs> you know, because I'm not sure everybody's going to buy my dry Riesling. So that is the point. Dry Rieslings are the best Riesling. Oh. I like dry Riesling. So he brings me some from France that are over the top. France and Germany have the best dry Rieslings. We're not in contention here, dude. Okay. Oh, all right. Christoph has an answer for John. Yes. He says duck, deer, or boar. Boar. The still horny pairing. Yeah, still you horny. You didn't answer my question about the escargot. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know, it takes a while to respond to text. It does? Yeah, it does. I'm not texting. I know. But you, oh, you need to have Oh, and he says, right? and yes, escargot would work well with still horny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, you gotta disagree. Just to oh, give him a little shit. Come on now. You know, I feel like it's six against one here. Oh, well, Kristoff, tell me where to find some really good dry Rieslings. Because I've been going to um, uh, Whole Foods. Like, that that's where I had gotten them from, but it's like everywhere else, it's kind of unreliable. All right, Christoph, I promise you, I will look for some good grapes this year, and I will try to make you a dry Riesling. Done deal. But bring me your credit card. <laughs> All right. We got a special wine coming up for you folks. Please pay attention. This is the special part of, the, of our segment today. I'm, I'm going to pour you. We only have one other... 750 left of one of the best wines we've ever made from Hollow Mountain. This is called Happily Ever After. It's our 2014 and the last one that we made from Hollow Mountain. Um, today and this week, we're offering 40% off of this bottle. These bottles, this is not a label. Like this is a label. This is not a label. This is this is all hand painted and hand etched. Yeah, I mean, just to like view the etching, you have to kind of look at it from the side to see that there is that dimension happening, which isn't showing up super well in the camera, but take her word for it. It is definitely happening. <laughs> These have grooves in it. This is not a paper label. So um, what we're offering is 40% off on the mag and the double mag. We never pour this wine. We are going to pour it today. Um, this is the last, second to the last of the two that I have of the 750. And let's see what it tastes like. We, we had one at Christmas and it was over the top. So, do we have this at your birthday? Yeah. Did we have a birthday? Yeah. We had it at my birthday. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the last time I tried this. Okay. Yeah, no, the birthday party. Yeah. You're right. For those of you that want to know, my birthday's on Valentine's. See guys, keep that in mind. Mark your calendars. The old man's birthday is on February 14th, every Valentine's Day. Make him feel slow. And if you want to know Junior's birthday, it's June the 11th, which is Kamehameha's birthday. And he's going to be 30, unfortunately. Oh my god. Oh, on, a, on a very lonely birthday. <laughs> Very lonely, socially distant 30th birthday. <laughs> well, it might be not be so socially distant by Julia Lovett. It's hard to say. Yeah, I mean, by 
June the 11th. We haven't we'll tasted see. this in a while. All right, let's go. What do we got? Whew. Yeah, I haven't tried it Some since Christmas. Some kind of wonderful. That's what we got. Oh my goodness. Ooh. You know what I would do? You know what I would do? It's kind of like a chocolate cherry cake. Be a black I, I forest would take cake. The and then I would just rub this all over my body. <laughs> Dessert. That's got some oh my. That's got some pizzazz. You know those chocolate cherry yeah. things you, you bite? Yeah, it's like a cordial. All that stuff yeah. 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 Exactly. Oh, my yep. goodness, that's good. Wow. Woo. That's crazy. Because oh, this. Because the. So, Obviously, we taste this once a year, so we don't know if we're. No. You know, we, we don't, don't have enough to drink. We can't really. Yeah. Smoke. Well, like the sugar content on this wine, if you were to measure it out, it's zero grams, like, yeah. you know, or it might register as like 0 0.01 or something. Like, yeah. But it was totally but, dry when we made it. Yeah, yeah, but this tastes sweet. It tastes sweet, but it's not. Even though it's not. This is open up so much from like where it was when we first tried it. Let me tell you about 2014, why this became our last year. Um, in 2012, we, we actually made 41 barrels of wine off our, our vineyard, our 12 acres up in Howell Mountain. 2013, that was, now we're talking drought years. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 were drought years. By 2013, the, the production off the land was it cut in half. We made 21 barrels that year. 2014, we made four and a half barrels of, off that 12 acres. The grapes were emaciated, they were dry, there was very little juice in them. It took everything we had just to make a little bit of wine, which I decided not to make 750s to put them as, as our, our going away present from Howell Mountain because the next year I sold the vineyard. So we put them in mag and double mags. So. Mm. This is a wine that is a 2014 I would say this wine is at least good till 2034, maybe 2040. It's in a large format. There's a whole lot of left in this thing. I wouldn't worry about it. It's, you lay this bottle down, you take care of it. It's a 30, 40 year wine. It is, right. hands down. Meredith has a good question. Do you think that there is even a slight difference with the, play, with the flavor profile in the larger volume bottle versus the one you're tasting from? Yes, because it's going to, remember, this is going to age at a slower pace. You've mm -hmm. got a whole lot of body and a little tiny neck versus this, that w w if you look at the proportion, or even this one, this is two bottles. This is a 1.5, so that's basically two bottles of wine. This is four bottles of wine. You look at the neck versus the body in these two, uh, this is going to age significantly faster than these two. Another advantage is the, the glass is so thick that if it, it has a chance to come in contact with the sunlight, it reflects more of it away to preserve the wine. Oh, we got an MJA poem. MJA poem? Yeah. Really? I can't wait to go on a cruise to Santa Cruz, drink MJ wine, not some booze, with nothing to lose, dose hombres and provocative, no need to choose, just make sure to sip and not spill on my new shoes, walk on the beach, then it's back to the hotel for a snooze. <laughs> Who wrote that one? Uh, that is from Den Den. Um, well done. Very good. Thank you. I, I love the, the rhythm to that. That was great. <laughs> so you guys, just to break this down to the dollars and cents, this is a $750 bottle. You guys today, 40% off. You don't have to buy 27 of them. Buy one of them. It's $450. And this one runs right around $240. So hell of a buy. Do it. Own it. I don't have a lot of these left. I have sold about 140 of these, I think I have 30 or so left. I sold the majority of these, I think we have about 20, 25 of these left, so. Yeah, so Meredith, she's making the point of like, since it's bigger, it ages slower, that's why it'll last longer. So with that in mind, what would you say that that 
really large three liter bottle would last? I would say that's a 40 year wine. Okay. And it might be 50. And, and Christoph, you, you guys in France are in the wine business. What do you think? Give me an opinion. Could be that, uh, like the other one, that most people aspire for this bottle does. That's true. <laughs> Save this for your grandkids. I wouldn't worry about it now. <laughs> um, and, and in Hawaii, we would say Mobiga Mobia. So that's, that's what I said. Mobiga Mobia. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that. This is really surprising. Like, I hadn't tried it since December, and it was really good yeah. then, but wow. You can take that one home. Yeah. Hello? You can take all of these home with that one. That's fine. Okay. Wow, this is, this is like how it's a day. I want to keep your, I want to keep your, your liter intake, you know, at, at the peak. We'll see. For five liters, we calculated at 6.6 .6 bottles. So, you know, mm -hmm. I have something to aspire to. <laughs> No, that's what I was looking for. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, he said 40 plus easy. That's what I'm thinking too, because you know the wine anyway, Chris, and I think, I think this is 40, 50 year old wine. I really do. You know, it's, it's got a good wax on it. It's got a big cork and you lay this down and you take care of it. No problem. And he also says, was going to say 40 for the mag. Instagram. Bye, Facebook. We miss you. Bye, yeah. Facebook.